1500 meters, the final discipline in the decathlon. This will decide the medals, and here's Paul Dickinson. Thanks very much, and we can have a look at the standings before that final event with Thomas Dvorak of the Czech Republic, I'm sure, heading towards the gold medal. And uh, one of the greatest performances ever in decathlon scoring. Hamalainen, second, twice in a row in this championship, in second place. Frank Busserman of Germany. And the American Chris Huffins, who figured at the top of the leaderboard for about a day and a half. Well, his decathlon came to an end in a desperate way with his final throw of the javelin. He'd had two fouls. And uh, you may have heard Denise Lewis talking about this before. We've all got a lot of sympathy for the man. Inexplicably, he threw it out of the sector. He'd have done that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times in training and always got it between the two lines. But on this occasion, the pressure got to him. And that is why Chris Huffins is on the leaderboard no longer. He was absolutely distraught afterwards. He led from the very first event yesterday, the 100 meters. He led at the end of day one. And he was still in with a very good chance of a major medal at these championships. Not a pleasant hour or so for Chris Huffins of the USA. And so the final event over two grueling days gets underway three and three quarter laps of the track and i'm sure denise will have a lot of sympathy with these guys these fellas are built for power strength and speed endurance is not something they look forward to and to put it in perspective the top three thomas dvorak who's leading at the moment who could be heading towards the czech republic's second gold medal of these championships effectively has 16 seconds over Eduard Hamelainen, who's right at the back of the field at the moment. Hamelainen himself has 19 seconds ahead of Frank Busserman of Germany, who's just tucked in in fourth place. And if you compare this with the pace of El Garouge in the 1500 meter final, well, it is pedestrian, but these fellas have gone through 10 events in two very long days indeed. The all-time list of decathlon makes very interesting reading. There's some great names from athletics in there. Dan O'Brien, the world record holder, three times the world champion. Sitting right behind us, commentating for NBC, unable to defend his championship because of injury. And it must be very, very frustrating for him. But watching Dvorak of the Czech Republic heading towards a gold medal and Dvorak making no mistake about it there's O'Brien he'd much rather be down there on the track second behind O'Brien in the all-time list Daly Thompson double Olympic champion and then some German names which may well be familiar to you Jürgen Hinkson Ziggy Wentz and uh, the Germans have certainly found a new star with a man in third place 22 year old Frank Busserman Hamelainen pulling himself round with two laps to go. Hamelainen's performances have been so impressive. He's a 50-meter discus thrower and a 17-foot pole vaulter. He can also run a pretty nifty hurdles at 13.74 this morning. But the three athletes there heading towards the finish with a lap time of 75 seconds. A Thomas Dvorak of the Czech Republic, Steve Fritz of the United States, who's going to finish in the top six, I'm sure. And Frank Busserman, who will guarantee himself a bronze medal with this performance. I don't think he can do enough to get up into silver. He'd have to get, what, about 150 meters or so ahead of Edward Hamelainen. And Stuart, you've seen many decathlons in the past. You see some pretty sorry sights when these guys drag themselves across the finishing line. But these fellas are so committed to their performance and so committed to their training. They don't do very many decathlons in a year. Denise was saying the other day she'll only do two heptathlons this year. But they take part in club competitions and so on. And they really do commit themselves to all sorts of experiences in athletics, which culminates in one major championship perhaps every couple of years.
This is the event that they dread at the end of these two days and these ten events. It really is an absolute task of some consequence for these big men who are more suited to throwing the shot, more suited to hurling a discus, and then to turn their attention to three and three-quarter laps of the track. The 100 meters, the long jump, the shot put, the high jump, the 400 meters, the events of the first day, the 110 meters hurdles, the discus, the pole vault, the javelin, and this 1500 meters completes the two days of decathlon. And it's going to be very interesting to see what happens when the points come up on the board. Steve Fritz heading towards a little bit of glory, but Busserman is really putting in a cracking effort here. There's not sufficient distance between himself and Hamelain and to make any difference to the overall result. But Busserman is going to be a star right now and a star in the future. Fritz comes over, then the champion Dvorak. Here comes Edward Hamelainen. Dvorak knows he's cracked it. And when the points come up on the board, well, it'll be a new personal best performance. That is almost irrelevant, but it will be one of the highest points totals ever. Dvorak ran 435.2. So, double delight for Dvorak in the Czech Republic. Busserman, not quite as sharp as he was last year in Atlanta when he got a silver medal. And big smiles, big hugs all round for these guys. Dvorak, just 25 years old. Steve Fritz pats him on the back. Edward Hamelainen, can you believe it? Third, three times in a row in a World Championship decathlon. Total exhaustion, both physical and mental. But there'll be a bit of celebrating this evening, that's for sure. Now, Dvorak's score, we've seen it, 8,837 points. That is the third highest total in history behind Dan O'Brien and Daley Thompson. That shows you the quality of this man. Well, even Dan O'Brien would have had his work cut out to have got another title ahead of this fella. He's seen it up on the scoreboard. I'm not sure he can believe it. But this fella is a real star. So the time's popping up as we see them. And uh, Frank Busserman will be confirmed with the bronze medal. Hamelainen, I think, with one of the greatest performances of his life, confirmed as the silver. Have they got the energy to do a lap of honor? I'm not sure they have, but they're going to stick around there for a little while yet just to soak up the plaudits that are coming their way. A surprise winner, perhaps, but Dvorak has progressed wonderfully in decathlon. Fifth, two years ago in Gothenburg, a bronze medal at the Olympic Games in Atlanta. And he really has produced a massive total of points. 1060 for the 100, 764 on the long jump. He can do better than that. 16 meters plus in the shot put, and he's not a big guy. And there we have it, 8,837 points. That really is a huge total. Edward Hamelainen, a silver medal for the third World Championships in a row. Frank Busserman, 22 years old from Germany. He gets a bronze. And those three men so far and away ahead of the rest. Well,